Hello guys, Solitary Gamer here, and today I'll be reviewing Samurai Harum. This is a Harum comedy anime about an old-fashioned samurai moving to the city in order to learn about the outside world. It is not connected at all to the Samurai Girls anime. I knew about this Harum anime for a while, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to give it a chance because the premise didn't seem exciting to me. I decided to watch it though because I wanted to at least give it a chance since it is a Harum anime. While it was interesting seeing Samurai adjust to city life in the first couple of episodes, it soon changed from somewhat interesting to feeling like it was a chore to watch this anime. This anime was filled with cliches, and I did not laugh at those cliches. In this anime, Yuichi is a samurai who is trained in Yukiha Divine Wind style sword arts. He lives in the mountains with his father and only talks with his father. There is no one else around in the mountains. His father wants Yuichi to get stronger through visiting the city, as the city will make his mind stronger. He has Yuichi live with a family in the city that also owns a dojo. The thing about this family is that they're all girls. Now Yoichi has to adjust to living with girls for the first time. The comedic scenes in Samurai were really funny at times. I laugh a lot seeing this old fashioned samurai trying to understand the technology and the people in the city. He didn't know when Elbear was and caused such a mess at the mall. Seeing his perverted reaction to seeing girls for the first time was really funny. He really liked staring at their breasts. He was so out of touch with the language being used today that I thought people were challenging him to a fight at times. It was funny seeing him attack people with one sword and seeing them be so surprised at his sword. The way he was talking was really funny as well. He talked in such an old-fashioned way that it was hard to understand him at times. The fights were entertaining to watch. Yoichi used wind attacks and his enemies used elemental attacks and slashing attacks. Now what made the fight so entertaining to watch was that there was no magic or energy being used here. So the fact that Yoichi can use wind attacks just from swinging his wind sword is amazing. His enemies also fought in unique ways by using surfboards to create water attacks. I like how the fights were done in this anime. Almost every week Yoichi had an assassin going after him, and it was great seeing Yuichi react to their assassination attempts so quickly. He had quick reflexes and could sense when he was in danger. It was great seeing Yuichi taking down these assassins with just his one sword. The comedy involving the harm scenes were poorly done. I did not laugh at all during that type of scene. It was mainly two tsundere girls, Ayame and Ibuki, yelling and hitting Yuichi whenever he accidentally got into an awkward situation with a girl, and whenever it looked like he had a perverted thought on his mind. They didn't hear him out, they just yelled at him, and him right away. This anime was filled with that type of scene, and I felt like it really ruined the enjoyment of the show. It wasn't just once or twice, they constantly hit him, and it was just annoying to watch. Even if you like Tsunere Girls, you would still find scenes so cliche and annoying to watch. Like really, the main character looked like he's having a perverted thought, so you hit him. How is that funny? Not only is it a major cliche, but how it's hitting a guy for no good reason seen as funny. At least make these Tsunere Girls interesting to watch. I always prefer watching a Tsunere Girl that wouldn't hit a guy, but instead make fun of him for being so inexperienced with girls. Despite being tagged as a horror anime, it didn't really feel like a horror show to me. Only two girls really liked the main character. There was a side character that liked him, but she didn't get much screen time. I was disappointed that there weren't more girls in love with Yoichi. The romantic development in this anime was disappointing. There were major hints that Ayame and Ibuki liked Yoichi, but they weren't even close to confessing their love to him. Yoichi didn't even seem like he had a crush on them. He just wanted to protect them. This was bad romantic development, even for a harm anime. Usually in harm anime series, the girls at least make it obvious to the main character that they like him. There was none of that here. The villain in this anime was just terrible and had a cliche goal. I thought he had a good reason on why he wanted to kill Yoichi, but it turns out he was just jealous that Yoichi was too close to one girl. What a horribly cliche reason to want to kill someone. Near the end of this anime, the characters acted really out of character to a point where it was appalling to watch. The main character who talked about honor so much and never backed down from a challenge, let the villain do whatever he wanted, and let him step all over him. It was really pathetic. It was like I was watching an NTR H anime. This is an anime, so there won't be an NTR ending, but the fact that the main character let the situation get that far was sickening to watch. I did not like the girls in this anime. Like I said earlier, Ayame and Ibuki were hitting Yuichi any chance they got. Some people may think they're cute, I see them as annoying tsundere girls. Yuichi was a funny main character it was hilarious seeing him have perverted thoughts about girls at times, and I like how creative he was in terms of making unique fighting moves. One male character that I did like in this anime was Wasun. It was really funny how he was so jealous of Yoichi, and how he had all these weird fantasies about Ibuki at times. The opening and ending for this anime were okay. There weren't anything special. The music in this anime was okay. I can't think of any songs that I really liked. The animation style for this anime looked alright but the girls didn't look hot in this animation style. The animation for the fight scenes was good. The characters' movements and Yuichi's win attacks during fights were animated well. 
I would only recommend to watch this anime if you're really desperate to watch a horror anime or if you really like samurais. I really enjoy anime at times with the fight scenes and seeing Yoichi try and get used to city life, but as I watched more of this anime, it just became like a chore to watch. It was knowing seeing Ayame and Ibuki attack Yoichi often for no good reason. There was basically no romantic development. The way the villain was so generic and seeing the main character act like a spineless wimp later on in the show just ruined this anime greatly for me. I give this anime a 5 out of 10. This is one of the worst horror anime series I have seen in a while. So that's all I want to talk about for today. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day night to wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.